Hey guys, this is your friend Maina from Civil Center and I welcome all of you back to our channel and the fourth video on the structural drawing preparation. So if you have bumped into our channel for the first time, let me tell you, we are preparing a series in which we have three videos on the complete design of a building in the Tecla Structural Designer and we have on the part four of the video of the structural drawing preparation. So if you want to watch those videos, go to the description and watch the complete design of this building. So friends, in the previous videos, we had completed up to the foundation layout and the plane beam layout. So the next thing which we need to do in this particular structural drawing is our floor or typical floor beam layout. So that part we need to do. So before that, let us also prepare the schedules of these beams and columns which we had prepared in the layout. So we had already prepared the schedules in the uh, Excel. We just need to arrange them and prepare that those tables in the particular CAD file. So let's start doing it. So the first part will be the schedule of the foundation. So we'll just prepare the schedule of the foundation according to this. So we can just copy a text here again. We are going to prepare the schedule of the foundation. So I'll take text and copy. I'm going to prepare the schedule of foundation right below it and later I can shift it somewhere else. So here I'll write schedule of foundation. You can double click on it to edit it and then control plus A then simply schedule of foundation. You can increase the size. Correct the spelling mistake and then increase the size of it. So after that, let's uh, anyhow finish the writing the texts. Then we have the foundation mark, depth, top. So we'll go one by one. So here we'll have foundation mark. Can write in short form foundation mark and then and then we can copy this it will be turned on the ortho it will be depth and after that we can give top and along axis and along yy so since uh, this foundation which we have designed is a has a single layer that is we'll just move it that is only the bottom layer so it will be not be top and bottom only the bottom is there and only bottom along okay so this uh, this this had both top and uh, bottom in here we will have only bottom so in bottom, bottom only XS, XX and YY. So here we can just copy this and rather move it upwards and bottom and copy this. Move it. along xx along my way so after having done that we can Arrange this a bit. And we can then prepare the table. So for that, let me take a line here. And we'll take a line up to this much. We'll just also see 
how much space which will require to write this along x axis and along y y also so let's write one of the reinforcements so we have this foundation mark okay depth length and breadth and number also we have and for the particular reinforcement we'll just check the schedules and then we can decide so uh, since this is a small area we'll just take the minimum of the reinforcement or the maximum of the reinforcement rather which is provided and we'll provide it also so 175 125 so 125 is the minimum one so what we'll do we'll provide 125 all through so it is 12t at the rate 125 center to center which will provide all through so here which we had already discussed the reasons and all already we discussed in the uh, previous sessions you can go and watch those sessions if you haven't watched them 12t at the rate 125 center to center that we can copy to so move this one to middle and this one also can we move the bit and depth and the foundation mark this one let's move it a bit downwards now we can give a offset of it let's give an offset of uh, 400 let's check how it suits we need to give a uniform offset for this and just adjust all the other things accordingly shift and then click this move it draw a line here command move command after that what we can do we can just close this and copy this and end this after that we can trim this so now we are ready for the next written things so here we can just copy this So here we can write F one. Mm -hmm. 
move it to the center here depth of f1 already we had uh, decided so depth is 350 so in this case what you can do uh, there is one case in which you can uh, define the length and the breadth here if you have uh, less footings or you can also uh, insert a column here as well so for that uh, in this case you prefer inserting a column here for the length and the breadth also or here since all are uh, uh, you know this the sizes which you have length and the breadth the sizes which we have are square so here we can simply write size bracket l cross l cross b this and have this size so what is the first size which you have it's 1200 into 1200 let's write it here double click 1200 space cross 1200 like this we can have select this ex enter not all we want actually these two we want and these two also we want and select this ex center this one so now we are done with f1 so we will select this and select this copy so how many footings we have up to f5 we have so to F3, F4, F5. Select this EX enter. Okay. So now do this as F2, F3, F4, and F5. After that, change the depth of this according to the structural drawing so f2 is depth is 350 and size is 1300 into 1300 so we'll just change this and after that this one is 400 depth is 400 and the size is 1550 to 15 so depth will be 400 size is 1550 into 1550 the next one the size is 1750 into 1750 depth is for the f4 the depth is 450 for the f5 the depth is 500 and 1950 to 1950 so this is the foundation schedule what we can do if we want we can just move it to the center sorry 
and just select this and move it to the center and double click select this control plus u control plus p you want to bold this one schedule of footing and select this again and move it to the center so like this you have prepared the foundation layout so next we'll prepare the plain beam layout so this we'll do in the next video so stay tuned and if you want to watch the earlier videos make sure you go in the description do using the links in the description and if you have bumped into our channel for the first time make sure to subscribe to our channel because there are a lot of videos related to civil engineering over 100 videos on software concepts estimation and whatnot so make sure you do subscribe to our channel and also share with your friends keep learning bye bye